Anne Fabiola from the Go Tablet TV live in Oslo for the 16th edition of the longest running extreme metal festival in Norway, Inferno. We have the pleasure to be here with the mastermind behind the Inferno engine, Runa Pedersen. Hi. Hi, nice to be here. Likewise, how are you today? I'm fine, absolutely. Today is the fourth day of the 16th edition. Um, are you happy with the results that you have achieved so far? Absolutely, it's, everything has as it should and people are happy and so on and I yeah. and uh, what are the criteria that you used to build up this amazing lineup that had Mysticum and uh, Marduk and tonight we have Mayhem um, we just try to get something you, we want and like and we know people don't like and then um, yeah, we try to build it up with some trash, some black metal, some death and some doom and then we put it together and, and it's always good be just handpick the bands we want. Mm. Speaking about trash, Exodus were amazing. Absolutely, they were great. And what are the major challenges and the major rewards that you achieve in uh, working behind such an amazing festival? Uh, the biggest challenge is time because there's a lot of things to do and um, so we have to get to all today Easter was very early from last year it was like one month or there so it came very sudden um, so we kind of uh, had a we felt um, that time was so short this year <laughs> but uh, well, we get it done in time. Absolutely. Um, as I mentioned, the lineup was stunning. Do you think that um, there were even more international fans coming to the 16th edition because of the lineup? Uh, international? Uh, no, not really. I think uh, there's more Norwegian this year because we have a lot of uh, bands from abroad, not that many Norwegian. With then we have a lot of uh, Norwegian black metal band, there will be a lot from abroad, and then we have bands like Exodus and Night and stuff like that, there will come a lot of Norwegian. Uh, because the Forge people want to see the Norwegian black metal thing. We have Mysticum and Mayhem, and they come for to see them. And the Norwegian come to see Exodus and Night and st stuff like that, they don't get to see that much here in Norway. I'm from Norway. I'm from Norway. Anita from Norway. Hey, I'm Nick. I'm Adam. I'm Stefan. We're from Phoenix, Arizona. Milano. And we're here to fuck you. Hey, I'm Gina from Germany. I'm Kevin from Canada, also known as the Canadian Go. This is my 10th year of Inferno. Fucking mayhem. Inferno. This is Iñaki. I'm from Spain. This is my seventh time here in Inferno. I love Inferno. So, come to Inferno. Hello, my name is Jere. I'm from Turku, Finland. I'm here in Oslo, Norway. This fucking great Inferno Festival 2016. Pure fucking metal. With regard to uh, this, uh, this edition, the 16th edition, um, was it harder than maybe uh, previous editions? No, not really. It's. Uh... Nah, it's basically the same. You you know what you have to do, and you just do it. You always try some new things, and uh, but it works out. The only thing that Easter was very early this year, so that's the only thing that was harder this year than before. Yes. With uh, regard to your past, um, when did you start actually working uh, in the Inferno Metal Festival? Um, four years ago. Uh, I always. I'm also working as a journalist, so I was always working at the festival as a journalist, and then I took over uh, uh, the press manager job uh, four years ago. Yeah. And speaking about that, um, we also had the chance to see this creation of yours, which is the Inferno magazine, mm. um, which is available free of charge during the festival. What about for people that could not come to the festival? Um, any chance they can grab a copy? Yeah, if we have some left, um, send us a mail and we can send it. 
it's a uh, it's a free it's we do it for promotion so yeah we release it as always at a kickoff party uh, that is in late January or February. Um, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, there is a very interesting um, story and interview for May to Mayhem, Mysticum and also Robertron. So definitely mm -hmm. something that you should get hold of if you were not here. With uh, regard to uh, enjoying Inferno as a fan, did you have any time so far to enjoy any of the band? Yeah. Sipping and Ogne or as the Inferno Festival tradition calls. Yeah, actually, I, we got to see a lot of them uh, ourselves. There are some running, of course, it's some small things, but uh, the most work is in, in front of the festival, so uh, so everything goes pretty smoothly during the festival, so so we can also see the bands, it's no, it's no problem. Any band that you enjoyed particularly? Of course, the, I'm most proud of the Mysticum show because that was so unique, you can't, you're never gonna see that again. <laughs> so, uh, yes. so they they kind of went all in for that show and and people was um, people think it was amazing. That's uh, that's the thing you're gonna remember from this year, I think. And Marduk. Yeah, Marduk was great and Exodus were great and and let's see what uh, Mayhem can bring to tonight. Everybody's looking forward to Mayhem, obviously. They're Norwegian, this is their home, Oslo. Any anticipation on their show, or do you prefer to keep it as a surprise? Uh, of course they're gonna have their the meet on the stage. The, the heads and uh, maniacs gonna be uh, guest vocalists. So, this and is the, fantastic. That's the thing they have gone out with. Um, so the rest is gonna be a surprise. Really looking forward to my him later on. I hope I can see you front row enjoying the show until the very end. Could you please let us know about the team you work on to keep this wonderful festival running so smoothly and uh, so well organized? Um, yeah, there's a lot of people working for us. There is a lot of volunteers, the hundreds of volunteers going on. So. Um, and a lot of people that have their own areas to do, um, so that's what makes it work. So thanks to all the volunteers and that, and there's so many that come that do it every year, so it's more smooth every year. So yeah. Yes, I recognize some of the volunteers, yeah. especially the security, which mm. works perfectly fine yeah. on every front. Very good. Mm. Any anticipation for 2017? Because now obviously people want to plan ahead. Um, it's very hard to attend just one edition of Inferno. I think once you start, you want to come back because it's such a familiar territory mm. for for um, metal fans from all over the world. So any, any anticipation for the next edition for the people that couldn't be here? And maybe the people that are here want to start planning already returning to Oslo. Yeah, we... You know, we have some ideas for bands and stuff like that, and of course when we have the festival, you always get new ideas what can be cool for next year, and you think about that, and uh, so I'm looking forward to start again, so to bring back the, all the new ideas you have during the festival, so um, I'm going to try to make it even better, of course. Even better. Yeah, even better. <laughs> Will you be taking any break? You sound extremely busy. Yeah, sure. I, when the festival starts, it's, um, this day is... You don't have that much to do on the last day. First day, a lot to do. Second day, a little less. Third day, a little less. And today, uh, it's basically relaxing. Very good. Runar, thank you so much for your time and thank you for being such an amazing festival organizer. Yeah, thank and you for we'll having see you me later. Here. Thank you. Thank you.